Hello everyone in Oneness. Thank you so much for watching this video. In Oneness, I am Jessica Delmar. This is part three of the Source Within series that we're doing this month of May. And in this series, we are talking all about how everything is interconnected. Everything really is a micro and a macro of each other. And when you're able to kind of put yourself into this energy of oneness, you're able to see how strongly connected you are to source itself. Having a physical experience, you are an extension of source. And so within your physical experience, when you look at all the macro and the micro um, kind of folding in on itself, you'll see how you are directly connected to source itself and how essentially you are or you have a source within you that allows you to create everything within your micro that stems back to your macro and back again to you like a boomerang. It is a cycle. It is an infinite cycle of you creating your own reality first and opening up into realizing that you are creating your very ultimate universe as well within the greater, greater universe that you exist within or, or are having an experience within. So this series is all about um, kind of harnessing that realization within you, activating the integration of the source within you, you being an extension of source, activating the integration of the source within you for you to fully understand this. And by understanding this and recognizing it within yourself, you're then able to shift the energy that you are expelling and creating in your own reality and universe. And as we kind of open up into the ascension journey more and more, this year being very essential in a lot of people stepping up further into their ascension journeys, into their expansions and realizations of who they truly are as an extension of source, creating their experience into new earth 5d is going to shift a lot of people's um, consciousness and energy on an individual scale thus shifting the wider collective scale thus impacting gaia earth herself and also impacting the greater universe and galaxy so everything's connected and everything goes back into this interconnectedness of everything the micro and the macro so if you haven't yet watched part one and part two of The Source Within, I'm going to put those links below. Make sure you watch those first in order to understand what's going on here in part three. In part two, we talked about this new territory of expansion and how if you think of Source creating this painting or this masterpiece, the universe, um, our experiences are being painted onto this masterpiece, this canvas. The canvas itself is this energy of oneness that allows the universe to exist within a space, if you will. And the paint that is on top or that is created on top of this canvas is the experiences that are playing out within this universe. And right now we are shifting into a new time, this new territory of expansion, not only within our own realities and our planet Earth Gaia, but on a universal scale. So it's like that canvas is expanding. The, the energy of oneness is expanding in order for the paint to continue creating on that canvas. And as source creators, we have a direct connection and influence in expanding that canvas in order for us to create and paint more of our masterpiece. Otherwise, the painting would be complete and we'd have to start again with a new canvas. But that canvas is desiring, or rather the universe is desiring to keep on expanding. In order for the universe to keep on expanding, that canvas has to expand. And so the energy of oneness has to expand, including our ability to create within our own expansion. And so in order to continue expanding, we as individuals have to expand first. And this will kind of... Um, send out ripple waves throughout the whole universe in that expansion of the universe. In this video, we're going to talk more about that. So to continue with the source within, the next question I asked was, 
So where does it all start? And what came through was, well, that is the question, isn't it? The finely woven energy of oneness starts in love, and love opens expansion. Love is not a point of expansion, but the energy of expansion. In love is growth and opening into new territories of expansion. In love is that seed of desire that opens thought and intention to create something new. So, what came first, the chicken or the egg? That will forever be the dilemma of human existence. What came first is love, and love is all there is. I asked, but where did love come from? And what came through is, love came from the intention of life to exist. And in the intention of life to exist came the energy of love to help life to continue to exist. Love is not a frequency or a vibration. Love is a feeling. In feeling is life, not a vibration or frequency. I asked, but isn't at the core of love and life a frequency and vibration? Isn't everything at its core a frequency and vibration? And what came through was no. Life is a form that opens frequency and vibration. Love is a feeling that opens frequency and vibration. Life and love are portals back to source. And in experiencing life and love simultaneously together, you are in alignment with source. In alignment with source, you help source to continue to create and expand like never before. In the alignment with source, you help open the universe to new territory. In the alignment with source, you become a contributing energy factor to the greater source that flows through that greater source to continue the painting, the masterpiece. In the alignment with source, you become the energy of the painting that expands past the reaches of the boundaries and into the new territory of expansion. In your non-alignment with source, you draw back that energy and source begins to put down that paintbrush with the drawback of energy. You, as life within the canvas painting, as life within the universe, give energy to source that allows source to continue painting the masterpiece. And in turn, source gives life back to you. You are instantly connected as a whole. So what comes first? Only oneness knows. There is a gap between the old universe and the new territory of expansion. In this gap is zero point energy, meaning that as you birth past the boundaries of the old universe, you will find yourself in a space of unknown territory. This unknown territory is zero point, where everything and nothing exists. It is the stepping into the blank areas of the canvas that has newly expanded due to the desires of the universe for expansion. I asked, what do we do then? What came through is, in the zero point, you will find yourself in the void of oneness. You will find an expansion of oneness within. In the expansion of oneness within, a blank canvas will present itself to you. And in the blank canvas, you will create the new territory. Your energy of oneness will help you to create from a space of love. And in this space of love will come a seed, a desire, a thought, an intention. In your thoughts, create your world. And your canvas is waiting for your love-based intentions to create and expand the new masterpiece. In the new masterpiece of your own individual realities, contributes to the masterpiece of the greater universe of expansion and the greater masterpiece of the greater canvas of source. And opening into oneness, meaning opening into this new blank area of the canvas, opens you into new knowledge, new possibilities, new heart-opening energy that will expand your universe 
far greater than the one before. The energy of Source is expanding as the canvas expands, and in the expansion of Source comes the expansion of the greater oneness energy. Oneness, love, and high vibes is not an open canvas. It has boundaries, but those boundaries are open to expansion, much like a rubber band expands. Oneness, love, and high vibes opens the rubber band. Standing firm in oneness, love, and high vibes opens the canvas up to expand into new creation. In oneness is everything and nothing, and in nothing is everything, and in everything is nothing. There is a boundary to oneness as well, and that boundary of oneness is expanding as your universe's canvas expands. In everything is nothing, and in nothing is everything, meaning that in the blank canvas, you can create from your stored memory heart-based things that you wish to create. But at the same time, in the nothingness that is the blank canvas is the opportunity to create something new, and everything will expand through the nothing. In oneness is the love of Source, and in Source is you. In loving yourself, you are adding more love energy into Source. In the love energy fed to Source comes a masterpiece of more love energy extended from Source. And in the extension of more love energy from Source, the greater oneness energy, the boundaries of that canvas open up more and more. Because love is life, and in life is creation, and in creation is you. In you is Source, and in Source is Oneness. In Oneness is Love, and in Love is Life, and Life is You. So what came first, the chicken or the egg? Only you know the answer. In your existence, birthed life into the universe. And in life is love. In your existence is the birthing of more love into the universe which therefore births more love into Source, and opens Source to create more and more. And in creating more and more, the universe expands more and more. And in the universe expanding more and more, energy of oneness expands more and more. You are the egg, and Source is the chicken. You cannot have one without the other. Your heart says that the chicken came first, but in reality, the egg came first. There is no source without you, and no you without source. The egg was the seed of desire from the energy of oneness, and you are the egg manifested into a physical form. Do not underestimate your ability to create a universe from within your own thoughts, because you are source, and source is you. Humanity has been trying to figure out who and what Source is, when in fact, Source is you. You are all Source, contributing to the painting of the larger masterpiece, and you all have hands in the canvas of creation. Everything is a co-creation, and the seed, intention, thought, and desire for a universe to be created and birthed was a desire not only from a single Source, but everything that now exists within your universe. Everything that now exists, has ever existed, and will ever exist in your universe, has contributed to that initial seed, egg, desire, intention, and thought that originally opened up a new canvas in the first place. And it is the energy of the entire universe that is contributing to the continual expansion and creation of your universe into new territories, new areas of a blank canvas, opening for all of you. In the seed, egg, initial desire, thought, and intention to create your universe is the co-creation amongst everyone and everything in your universe with a desire to have a space to play. And so it was. It is quite simple. Lift up above your limiting 3D minds and into the energy of oneness. There, you will find truth in your ability and power to create. 
And in finding that truth, you will open new areas of expansion that add to your own expansion, the canvas's expansion, the universe's expansion, source's expansion, all contributing to the expansion of oneness, the expansion of that canvas. You are powerful beyond measure, and in knowing who you truly are, you are knowing that you are source, and most importantly, source is you. In all that is, in everything and nothing, in oneness, we are all one. And that's what needed to come through for part three of The Source Within. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. Together with you and oneness, I am Jessica Delmar. Oneness and love be with you. Oh,